Hi and welcome. Today we're here for chair yoga. Thanks for joining me. My name is Marla and we're going to get started. I decided to come outside today. It's a beautiful day. We're going to hear a lot of nature sounds and other sounds. So just be mindful of that. So getting settled together in our chair, finding a nice comfortable seat, grounding down through our feet, through the back of our thighs and seat, finding our long, tall spine, our open chest and heart, our clear and quiet mind. Closing our eyes and finding our center, connecting inward, using the breathing, steady, slow, conscious breaths moving in, and slow, steady, conscious breaths moving out. So creating this very dynamic exchange of breath right away. So we're gonna take about seven cycles of breath in and out. <clears throat> and I'm gonna guide you along the way. So taking in as much air as you possibly can, filling up, imagining your water balloon or your paper bag and just breathing in as much air as you can. And when we exhale, we're gonna sift the air out nice and slowly, very gradually, so it's steady and smooth. And already we're creating a very balanced and even rhythm to our breath. And that helps us to quiet the mind. It helps us to quiet our nervous system. And most important, it creates a calm, steady place for our internal state of being. Balanced, even, centered, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. And let's just take one more bigger, fuller breath in. And exhaling fully. And let's take our hands to our heart. I wanted to share one of my favorite, my favorite poems, my favorite affirmations. When there's light in the soul, there's beauty in the person. When there's beauty in the person, there's harmony in the house. When there's harmony in the house, there's order in the nation. When there's order in the nation, there's peace in the world. So sealing that in with a nice deep full breath in and a nice long deep breath out. So that seed for change happens here with us. So the more we can connect to this peaceful, quieting breath, the more we can create internal harmony. And that's what we share around. So let's take a nice deep breath in one more. And long deep breath out to share all of your healing intentions, all of your positive hopefulness. Send it out, share it, lighting up the sky, full breath in and deep breath out. And releasing our hands either onto our lap or down by our side, whatever feels best. Let's take a full breath in at center. As we exhale, we'll rotate our head all the way to the left, noticing the amount of rotation available and only going as far as you can comfortably, whatever that is and breathing back to center, inhaling and exhaling all the way to the second side. Full breath in here, deep breath out. And one more time each way. So breathing into center, breathing out to the left. So using the tools of our breathing and the tools of our yoga to help us cope during uncertain times, during unsteady times, inhaling back to center, exhaling all the way to the right, using the breath to create peace and balance, 
So when we're calm, others around us can also be calm. Let's drop the chin and let's circle the head nice and slowly through whatever range of motion you have today. So easing our way into the neck, into the top of the shoulders, top of the spine. We're gonna move nice and slowly today, really honoring whatever's going on internally for us, nourishing and supporting the whole body from top to bottom, breathing in, breathing out. And let's take one more circle here, breathing in and breathing out. And nice and slowly, let's start to take it in the opposite direction, breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. And eyes can be open or closed. It's really up to how you're feeling in your mind and your body, what feels right for you, what helps support us the most. And let's start to find our center here, coming to a quiet, still place. Closing the eyes and full breath in, digesting all of that movement. Full inhale and deep exhale. And reaching our arms all the way down by our side, palms face me. So as if we're drawing a rainbow, we're gonna widen our fingers, we're gonna breathe in. We're going to either reach our arms halfway up or all the way up so that the, the thumbs come to me. Exhale and reverse. So just like a rainbow, breathing in, create that arc, and then exhale, arc it down. Good. So breathing in, so we're really highlighting and focusing the quality of the breath, the opening of the chest, the expansion into the lungs the expansion into the belly and the low back. So right away, we're creating this very powerful energy into our respiratory system, our digestive system, our cardiac system, our heart. Breathing deep, inhale, exhale, press out all the air. Good, one more like that, breathing in. And let's grasp right wrist, Lift up, tip over. So take this only if it feels good for you. If it doesn't, just be here or here as a modification. So there's always ways to adjust. Good, breathing in, so make sure whatever I'm offering feels right for you. Breathing in. So notice what's happening through your shoulder through your side body. So again, we're getting into all of our breathing. Good, one more bigger breath. And inhaling all the way up to center. We're simply gonna reverse. So we're gonna grab onto our left wrist now. We're gonna lift up, inhale. And as we exhale, we tip. So you're in charge of how much you tip. And we're only tipping as far as we can comfortably and safely because the body doesn't respond when it's threatened, when it feels unsafe. Breathing in nice and slowly and as we exhale, we're gonna spin left. As you spin left, let's rotate our head looking over that right shoulder. So if you'd like, you can hook your left arm behind your chair, deepening your stretch, keeping your keeping mindful of how everything feels for you. And noticing how the neck feels, relaxing our shoulders away from our ears, creating space and length. Full breath in, full breath out. And turning our head back into our twist. We're gonna inhale here and exhale, we're gonna twist opposite. So setting up, we don't wanna be rigid anywhere. We wanna be lengthening tall first, and then the twist is happening right below the level of the rib cage. Let's rotate our head all the way to the left and releasing the chin if that feels comfortable for you, getting a deeper stretch 
into the neck and the top of the shoulders and then settle the shoulders away from the ears. That's really important. We don't want to be hiking up the shoulders and creating more tension when we're trying to release tension. Let's rotate the head back into the twist. Let's inhale here and exhale, releasing the arms all the way down. Let's take a moment to pause and receive that. Take a full breath in. Take a full breath out. So scooching ourselves a little bit forward in our seat, grounding down deeply through our feet. Make sure that you're really feeling solid in your footing. And I'm gonna bring my left arm all the way up. I'm gonna reach it up as high as I can. I'm gonna turn my palm inward. So I'm rolling my shoulder open. My palm faces the center. So that really opens my chest and heart. So only do this if this feels good for you. Otherwise, you can just be here with the arms straight out. So adding on a spinal balance, lifting the right knee up. And if you want more, we're pressing into the thigh. We're not on top of the knee, but we're giving ourselves a little bit of resistance here. So you're going to feel a lot of energy right into our center. So feel that breathing in, lift up as your hand presses down. So giving ourselves our own internal resistance. Full breath in here and very slowly release it down. Take a moment, full breath in and full breath out. And second side, so breathing right arm up, we start to spin that palm inward. So we're rolling the shoulder open but the palm faces the midline. Adding on, if you're taking it further, we're gonna lift through the left knee. We're gonna use our hand as a little bit of resistance, so remember we're not on the knee. We're pressing into the thigh, full breath in, full breath out, full breath in, deep breath out, and just one more here, full breath in, and very, very slowly releasing down. Oh, notice how that little energy boost felt in your center, full breath in. I'm feeling that all the way from my armpits to my knees, full breath in, full breath out. So let's move on a little bit. Let's take that a little bit into a flow. So moving on our breath. So either coming just here or here, breathing in, and exhale, push the leg out, bring it in, and lower down. Second side, knee lifts, opposite arm lifts. Press long, draw it in, and let's release everything center. Breathing in, lift. Exhale, push through your foot, re-bend the knee, and exhale, lower down. Awesome, flowing with our breath, breathing in. Press it long, so we're feeling so strong and solid here. And everything comes to center and back to the midline. Second side, reach up, press it long, pull it in, and everything returns to center. Inhale here, so nothing happens without the breathing. Everything's happening together. Our movement and our breath are deeply linked together in this slow flow so that we get so much more from our yoga today. Breathing in, press it long, take it in, release it down. Breathe in, press, pull it in and release. So we're gonna take one more each way. Press it long, pull it in, and release it down. Lifting up, extend, draw in, and lower down. Take a moment here, full breath in, deep breath out. So really notice what we're feeling here. So we're gonna scooch a little bit to the center of our seat. So let's make sure that we're nice and safe in doing that. 
and we're going to start to just open out through this left leg the right knee and foot stay nice and straight so we're doing a seated triangle pose so we're going to breathe in reach the arms all the way up and as we exhale we're going to reach up and over so make sure you're nice and safe in your chair if you need to adjust do it and moving on our breathing inhale here exhale up and over inhale here exhale up and over inhale here exhale up and over and inhale up and exhale over and holding it so we're just using this back of the hand into the inner thigh as a little bit of leverage god breathing in breathing out and nice and slowly we're going to drop this arm down and one more time we're going to reach up and over so opening up this whole line so really getting into armpit rib cage waist organ space reaching breathing in and lifting up pulling this knee in now and bringing everything back to center Ooh, that feels good for the hips give everything a nice little shake out take a full breath in and a full breath out and we're going to take that to the second side now so i'm going to set up in my chair so i'm nice and safe i'm sitting as much into the center of my chair as possible my left knee and foot are facing forward and i'm pressing through my long leg so nice and strong breathing in reach up and as we exhale we're going to tip up and over towards that long leg and moving like a little windmill up and over and inhale up and exhale over and inhale up and exhale over good and one more each way before we hold just bringing a little space deeper and deeper through the layers of our side body and extending now up and over just shedding anything that you're holding on to anything that doesn't serve or support you today see if you can move your breathing right into that space create the change focus your attention and your awareness on the breathing and the power of the breath for healing and one more breath here nice and slowly we take it up and over to the other side breathing in opening deeply now through the side only going as far as you can comfortably full breath in breathe into your tension breathe into your blocks create the space inhale lift up and let's draw this knee back to center and coming back to the midline either closing your eyes or just turning inward taking a pause here for a full breath in and a full breath out and keeping our seat in the center we're going to lift through the left we're going to extend it long and we're going to lower it down so sitting up nice and tall we're going to point through the toes move my chair back a little bit point through my toes lifting deeply flex and lower down point and lift flex and lower so try to maintain a nice long spine here try not to tip back a lot because it doesn't matter how high we lift 
but how conscious and deliberate our movements are with our breathing. Last time, we're gonna let's hold this. Let's reach either out or up three long breaths. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And one more, inhale. And pulling this knee into the chest. Give it a nice big squeeze. And let's release that leg down. Notice how you feel. Full breath in, full breath out. And reaching through the right knee, extending the leg long. And now lowering it down, we're gonna point through the toes. Inhale, lift it up, deeply flex and lower. Point, inhale, lift, deeply flex and lower. Good, so really nice taking our time, moving with awareness. And just a few more, comparing your two sides. Holding here, finding your strength, breathing in, breathing out. Your strength is in your breath, stay connected. One more bigger breath, that's our fuel. Good, and pulling that knee all the way in. Give it a nice little squeeze and exhaling, release. Full breath in, full breath out. We're gonna lift left knee up. We're gonna cross it over. So we're gonna work into this outer hip and outer thigh area. So full breath in, sitting up nice and tall. And as we exhale, we bow forward towards our knees, towards our thighs, full breath in. So you can either come just halfway or you can reach further for the ground, whatever feels best for you. Notice how you're feeling only going as far as you can comfortably. You can let your head and neck go if that feels safe. Let's take another three or four breaths here. So really connecting to the sound, the sensation. Remember when there's light in the soul, there's beauty in the person. We're illuminating our light, the light within. Let's start to walk our hands up our thighs. Let's press into our thighs and nice and slowly we're going to unwind. Take a deep breath in, take a deep breath out. We're going to lift the right, we're going to cross it over, full breath in to begin leading with the heart. We either come halfway or we let the belly rest. Our spine is long and lengthened, so only taking it as far as you can comfortably. Full breath in, full breath out. Full breath in, full breath out. Nice, long, deep, steady, fluid breath, clearing and quieting the mind of any hectic, busy energy, really staying very, very focused, connecting completely on our internal state. One more big breath here. And now nice and slowly, we start to climb our hands up our thighs, reaching the shoulders up and back and exhale down, unwinding the knee and pausing here, full breath in, deep breath out. And sitting up nice and tall, we're gonna take our legs wide. So you're in charge of how wide they go. 
Good. Finding our tall spine, reconnecting to our center here. So we're moving from a nice strong place. And full breath in and circling nice and slowly. So I do this in all my classes. It's so wonderful to release tightness and tension from our low back. It helps to release the low back from the pelvis. It helps to get into our inner and outer thighs. And circles by nature are very quieting, very soothing and calming for our nervous system. So whenever we're feeling heightened, whenever panic sets in or anxiety seeps in, we have these beneficial tools to help dial us down and bring us back to a nice quiet space. As we come through center now, we're gonna to start to take it opposite. Eyes can be open or closed. And just always leading with the heart, sharing what we're creating together. And even though we're continuously practicing separately in our own spaces, we are united by breath, by the connection of our heart, by the connection of our intentions. Let's take two more deeper, fuller breaths here. And as we slowly make our way back to center and stillness, take a moment here, full breath in. Deep breath out. Reaching the arms all the way up. And as we exhale, either a half fold with wide legs or feel free to just rest your elbows or forearms or feel free to reach all the way down, releasing your head, finding a deeper fold. You can even stretch your arms long into a seated downward facing dog position and using props if you need them if you have blocks or books handy that you want to prop your hands up onto that just brings the ground up to us so that we're not struggling anywhere and that's why there's always options so make sure you're always listening to your inner guidance and let's take three or four deeper fuller breaths here From wherever you are, we're gonna to start to walk our hands in and up, walking our hands all the way up and finding our tall spine, walking our feet all the way back to center. Just taking a moment here to pause in our new space, full breath in, full breath out. And we're gonna open our arms big and wide out to the side and create cactus arms. Inhale here, exhale, draw in. Inhale, open, expand across chest and heart. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, open. So we're gonna make it into a little bit of a cat and cow or cat and dog from here. So we're gonna breathe in and really highlight the opening across the span of our shoulders, across the span of our collarbones. So we're really connecting deeply to the opening of our heart, shedding away any negativity, anything that's weighing on us or bringing us down, anything that's creating grief and sorrow. Let's see if we can create a little shift in our emotions, in our energy, in, into our internal state of mind. But one more here, breathing in, open and fill. As we exhale, pull in and open big and wide and exhale, wrapping left arm over the right, 
in a nice hug position. And here we are connecting deeply to this very peaceful, nurturing pose, giving ourselves a little love and kindness, some compassion, and breathing our deepest, richest breaths now into the top of the shoulders, the neck, and right between the shoulder blades, filling up completely into the back of the heart, full breath in, the chin can lower slightly. And nice and easy, we're gonna inhale open big and wide and exhale crossing opposite. But so using these last few moments of our practice to fill the well completely, to exchange anything old, anything beaten up, anything worn out, anything painful, for something that feels lighter, freer, more open. Free it up with the breath. Free it up with your intentions and your conscious awareness. Stay present and connected. And that's so much of the power of our yoga is that it solidifies all of those. It helps us focus more deeply. It helps us stay more present and connected so we're not dwelling in the past or dwelling into the future of the unknowns, the uncertainty. We're staying with what, just what we know, this moment. Let's breathe in, open big and wide. And exhale. Let's release our hands down onto our lap. Let's close our eyes and connect inward to our Shavasana sealing in all of our changes, sealing in all of the magic of the breath, our focus, and all of our healing powerful intentions that we've created together. Drink it in so that everything in the body receives it. Closing our eyes and taking five long, deep, settling breaths. Feeling full and rich in the mind, clear and quiet. Feeling our bodies settled, relaxed, pain-free. Feeling our breath, uniting everything, bringing us into the union we're meant to be in. Full, rich, complete full of gratitude for all that we have and all that we are. And taking our hands to our heart center and sealing it all in with a full breath in and a deep breath out to share. And joining our palms together, we honor the light and the strength within us to all beings all around us. Namaste.